like the summary video. Here we are in West Union. We got a fire skip here on, on a motel. Fire skip is pretty rotted. A lot of accumulation of snow and rust and rot. So two things you got to deal with on a fire skip. Must be structurally sound, must be kept painted. This is an examination to determine whether we can certify or load test this at this time and we cannot. Too many structural issues, too many paint issues. So paint related. Anything that's done on this fire skip, it's got to be an EPA renovator's license because of the lead paint issue. So you must be an EPA renovator licensed person. Structurally, fire skip is a combination of a lot of welds, but because it has leads, you can't weld anymore. So a lot of this has to be fixed and then rebolted back. We got a lot of rot. I think this fire skip is very close to a replacement, but we'll determine with the client um, what's the best option. But again, a lot, all of that needs to be cleansed and repaired and bolted, no welds. A lot of this needs to be repaired and bolted, no welding. A lot of rot in this area. The treads are all rotten and there's rot from above. You got holes. The stringers are all eaten. The treads are all eaten. I mean, there's been a lot of band-aid repairs welding-wise. The, the railing is eaten, eating the, the stringer. The stringer on the side has been eaten. The treads, um, you know, you can cover these, but again, you have to remove all the rust first to avoid the low test. It's not properly adhered to the ground. The stringers, as you can see, are showing signs that you can just go right through with your finger. Okay, so um, the, the clips of uh, ice jacking and rust jacking, rust jacking extreme. Uh, they used to have, there's some rot up there, they sealed it with silicone, they never cleaned it. There's some cement packing in there to hide the fact that there's all kinds of rot. So um, threw bolted into the building, welded brackets. You know, wa water's getting behind here and getting in there. You know, all the, all this needs to be cleansed out. You can see a lot of deterioration on the stringer. The stringers are eaten. You have to eat, you have to replace these stringers. This is really a candidate for replacement. You can band-aid this, but then you'd have to load test it. Um, but, you know, the, the repair cost on this is probably going to be close to, if not the same, as the, as the replacement cost. You got a lot of deterioration. Put your finger right through there. Deterioration, deterioration, deterioration. This is really a candidate for a replacement. But if the client wants to spend the money on this to spot repair it, then load test it or fully refurbish it to avoid the load test. That's a possibility. Any questions, Firescape Engineers Inspector Summary Video. We're here in West Union. Again, this is Cisco, 866-649-0333.